Hello. Um, let me show you a few simple but interesting demonstrations using the Wolfram language. And a specific um, topic here is the SIR model that describes the spread of infectious disease in the society. Okay, let's start by looking at what it is in the first place. S, I, and R are three variables um, representing susceptible and infected and recovered people. So these are all fraction of people in the category in, in the entire society, in the, in the entire population. And then the SIR model consists of three equations describing this, the speed of change in the time rate of uh, change of these fractions. So the first one is the speed of the change of susceptible people, uh, the, the change of the, you know, the, num the ratio of the susceptible people. And then it's proportional to the number of infected people and also the susceptible people. That's quite a natural assumption, isn't it? The more infected people, the faster the, the decrease of susceptible people, and also more, more susceptible people, the faster the, you know, the decrease of um, susceptible people's fraction. And or alternatively, you can look at this equation as follows. If you are infected, so there are fraction S of people around you who are, uh, who are susceptible. And then you can infect beta of them, meaning beta times S people around you may get infected because of you. And then in the society, there are I, the fraction I people um, who are infected. So the, the product of these things um, describe, describes their speed of, um, change of susceptible people. So, and then the negativity sign here uh, represents the decrease of um, this factor because the number of susceptible people never increases. And also this, you know, the same amount of number or fraction uh, or rate appears here in with the opposite sign because it get, oh, these people get infected and also at the same time, um, so infected people will get recovered at some rate gamma. And then here's the recovering rate. So the recovered, recovered people would increase in time, uh, you know, at the rate gamma times i. Um, okay, another important assumption is that recovered people are now immunized, so they have immune to the disease, so they, they'll never get infected again. All right, and then so by using the Ufram language, it's very simple to simulate the time evolution of these three uh, differential equations. So that typically, ND solve is used to serve uh, systems of differential equations numer numerically. Um, well, and this of value does basically the same thing. Um, and then here are three equations, S prime and I prime and R prime. And then these are initial conditions. So 99% of people are susceptible initially and zero point, uh, so sorry, 1% of people are infected. They, so they work as a seed of the disease. And then there are zero recovered people at time zero. All right, so we, well, well still, we, ha we, 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 we haven't defined what beta and gamma. So beta may be 0.4, roughly. So these are just random numbers. So gamma, let's say 0 0.2. So, and then by using this, so we get three interpolating functions as a solution. So let's name it, name them for simplicity to, to make things clear. Uh, so S solution and then next I solution and R solution. 
Right. And then we can plot them like this. See, this, uh, this is just as simple as this. So the susceptible people, uh, number of susceptible people decreases and then infected people, that, that's the orange line here. And then the green people, the green line uh, represent the number of, or fraction of recovered people. So to make things more interesting, let's put, everything in the manipulate function like this. So here, this part is exactly the same as before. So S solution, I solution, R solution, uh, as a, sorry, up to there. So, and then, uh, so this, this is just the solution of ND solve value. And then here's uh, the line for plot. So, and then this module is a standard, you know, trick to put multiple lines, you know, the process of multiple lines in the manipulate function. And then this makes a package of, uh, in a sense, in a sing, 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 single process. And then the result becomes like this. And then by changing the values of beta and gamma, we'll see the effect of these parameters. So, for example, so gamma, the recovery rate is not really controllable, especially in the early stage of the pandemic. So what we can do, what we can change artificially is to change beta. So this describes the interaction between people, you know, especially between infected and susceptible people. So by decreasing this, so this is the effect of actually locking down cities. Um, by decreasing beta, we can see the peak of the wave of infected people here, the number of cases gets lower and later in time. So this is indeed the effect of lock, lock, lockdowns, right? And then another interesting observation here is that so the number of or fraction say fraction of susceptible people uh, represented by blue line here gets stable at non-zero value more or less like this so this is a manifestation of the so-called herd herd immunity so this means so immune, infected people can't find sufficient number of susceptible people around them. And then the, 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 the spread is spread, you know, propagation of the disease is suppressed sufficiently. And then that's, that, that manifests as uh, this, you know, more or less flat line here. And also another example of functions in the from language. So let me show you. Um, so by, by first um, deleting, clearing these parameters. So the same thing can be done by using parametric ND solve value. Well, value is kind of optional, but parametric ND solve can deal with these two, well, uh, these two unknown parameters, beta and gamma in this case, as you know, intact parameters like this. So, and then, again, putting things in manipulate. So in this case, we don't have to care about module function. So in that sense, this is simpler. And then by changing beta and gamma, so we can see exactly the same behavior as before. Um, so beta and gamma appear here. So as a, an extra argument for the solution. So, so solution is defined here as an, as an output of parametric ND solve. And a beta and gamma can be dealt with like this. Um, 
as, as direct parameters for uh, manipulation. So this might be simpler depending on the case and depending on what you like. Um, so this, this is something I think good to know. Okay, and then let's move to another example I, I have just made up. Um, so be, because SIR model is so simple that there are loads of rooms for generalizations or applications. So here we consider what if there are multiple communities or sectors of different attributes, such as generations, regions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, let's say there are two communities, community one and two, and then beta i, meaning beta one and beta two, these are infection rate in the ith community. And then beta int, um, this represents the infection rate due to the interaction between two communities. So I assume, well, we, well in this example, we assume um, the infection rate from community one to two is the same as that from community two to two to one. So this might be obviously changed easily in, in, the, in the code, um, but for, uh, for simplicity in this example here, beta int um, are set uh, equal in the both directions. And gamma i is again, the recovery rate in the i community. So basically the system of equations is more or less the same as before. And here we, have, we now have a new term that, that, that represents the interaction between two communities. So this, this corresponds to the community, uh, what? Um, this corresponds to the infection from the community two to the community one with pro proportionality constant beta int. And similarly here, this corresponds, corresponds to the infection from the community one to two with beta int as a factor. And then the rest is the same. And then again, well, you know, basically everything is the same as before. So now that we have six equations, but we can simply put them by brute force in and dissolve uh, like here. And then the initial conditions are these. So initially 1% of the community one are infected and then there are zero infected people in the community two. But still, because of the interaction between these two communities, you know, um, we can see the propagation of the disease uh, into the community too. So here's the result. So by changing these parameters, so here's, this is beta two and then gamma two, and then here's the interaction term. So again, because of this um, interaction, well, B, all betas are for interaction anyway, but beta one, two is the beta, um, is the interaction between two communities. And then we can see the, the, the effect of this parameter um, that shows the propagation of disease into the, the the, the new, you know, healthy uh, communities around it. As I said, SIR model is simple and then there are uh, lots of po possibilities for generalization. And then one example is this SEIR. So here we have new category here, E. Um, this means exposed people. So exposed, so they are infected, but symptoms are, latent, so still not infectious yet. And then so some, after some rate, after some time, so infected people, but latent, uh, become infectious at some rate epsilon. And then the rest is the same as the ESIR. So unlike before, um, there are now four variables, so four equations. 
and here's a new one. So the number of uh, the time range of the change of exposed people. So most, because most infectious diseases have such period, latency period in terms of inf infectability. So this is kind of more realistic uh, um, compared with a simple SIR. So I wouldn't, I show the, 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 the the specific, you know, from language coding here, but basically everything is the same as before. So simply, you know, you can change the equations in MB solve by replacing them with these these things. So, um, and then also there are more, I think possibilities of applications, for example, so some people may die after in getting infected and also some recovered people become, they may become susceptible again after some time. So these more realistic assumptions, more realistic considerations can be uh, taken into account by a very simple modification to the system of equations. And then also, again, they can be easily implemented in the Wolfram language. So I hope you can enjoy uh, playing with these models and also with in the Wolfram language uh, on your desktop. Thank you.